Hey guys and welcome back to another one. Now today I was about to start my test on the new Devolo Gigagate starter kit when I thought that uh, since we moved to this new house uh, I didn't have the chance to test out properly uh, the power line adapters that I've been using since uh, I lived with my parents but for the last three or four years I've been using the Devolo uh, DLAN 1200 Wi-Fi SE with uh, great results. Now what I wanted to do with this particular video is to share all the results that I could uh, give you and I've got here 15 different scenarios that I would be happy to share with you guys so that when when I do review the Devolo Gigagate, I can see if there are, which hopefully there are pros and cons, but that we can see exactly what those pros and cons are, which types of usage will be better for the power line adapters and which type of usage will be better uh, with the Devolo Gigagate. And I'm only able to do that if I properly test uh, the power line adapters where I live right now. So guys, this will be hopefully the ultimate test uh, regarding power line adapters. Hope that you guys enjoy it and I'll see you in a few seconds. And here we are back for the ultimate test regarding power line adapters. And let me start by saying that we live in a house which has three different floors, as I said in the beginning. Uh, the ground floor, which is where I'm right now. And then we have the first floor with the bedrooms and so on and so forth. And the basement, which will be uh, my office in one year, one year and a half or so. Also, one note to those of you that have uh, asked me in the past if the power line adapters work through circuit breakers, they do. I've got five circuit breakers in this house and they, uh, the power line adapters pass through all of them and I want to show them on screen. So, uh, number one, number two, number three, number four and uh, number five. Also, in terms of tests, I did use three different machines, the MacBook Pro, the Xiaomi Mi Pad 2, which is right over here, and also the um, iPhone SE. And one thing to remind is that uh, these devices will give me different results, but uh, not that huge as you can see uh, on the screen. Um, there are quite some differences, being the iPhone SE the slowest one in terms of um, of speeds, but uh, there, there isn't a huge, huge difference. Also to note before we start the videos, in terms of walls and ceilings, uh, that will be a natural decreasement of our signal, so have that in mind. Let's say that I've got 150 square meters on this, which is roughly what we have in this uh, ground level right over here, not counting with the backyard and the front yard, but 150 square meters. If I have only one wall, uh, it is one situation. If I have five walls, the situation or the signal will degrade itself. So have in mind that when doing uh, the comparisons and deciding if this is the solution for you or not. And finally, before we go to the test, my ESP at this moment gives me, well, it doesn't give me, he sells me <laughs> 200 megabits per second on download and uh, 20 on upload, which is the maximum. I will change this in about one year and a half. Um, but uh, for the moment being, this is the best that I can have right now. It's not bad at all. I can live with it, but there's better in the market at the same price. But um, only in the future because right now I have to uh, um, do the contract that I signed for when I did move to the apartment and so on and so forth. Let's forget about that. Let's not waste time. Now guys, the first test that I made were here on the ground floor. And the first test was exactly in this office, which is the nearest point to the uh, access point, if I can say so, from, from the power line adapter. And I'm sure that you are seeing on screen, uh, I'm getting 190 megabits per second on download and 20 on upload here um, using the uh, MacBook Pro and also the uh, Xiaomi Mi Pad 2 and these are great great results for a Wi-Fi speed uh, also I did uh, move to another section of a house which is the garage it's not far from here it's about uh, 10 meters away something like that and uh, which is, is not a <laughs> usual place to, to use Wi-Fi but then nonetheless I did test it out there I do got 100 megabits per second on download and 20 on upload, which is less 90 megabits per second. And then uh, on spot number two on the garage, um, 
we got 90 megabits per second on download and 20 on upload and then uh, connecting the same spot the second spot connecting uh, through a ethernet cable we got 100 sorry 140 megabits per second on download and 20 on upload now uh, before we move on to the other tests which, which I've got some here more interesting uh, as you can see from one area of the house to the other area of the house uh, I'm getting totally different results 190 right over here and then on the other area I'm getting 90 100 and with the internet connection uh, cable sorry 140 and that just means something my power grid is not the same everywhere so i've got losses here and there which is something that it's always an incognite before we test it out now that being said let's move to the living room which is an important area of this house to have signal and as you can see right over there by the way my living room is about 40 square meters um, by the video and the picture i'm not really sure what you can see and if you have the perspective or not but uh, what i can say is about 40 square meters right over there and um I did place my laptop where I usually sit watching TV and with my kids, my wife and so on, answering uh, emails, etc, etc. And as you guys can see, I'm getting really great results. I'm, I'm close to the, uh, to the power line adapter, but I'm getting 160 on download and 20 on upload. Now on the same spot with the tablet, I was getting 90 megabits per second on download and 20 on upload. So as you can see, the same location, but with two different devices here, we got two completely different uh, uh, results, 160 and 90 megabits per second, which is a huge difference. Now, what I did next was still in the living room and leaving the power line as it was, I moved near to the, uh, I don't recall the name of that, but near to the uh, the other side of the living room. <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, the f <laughs> well, I will remember later. Uh, what uh, to, to do? What to try and figure out if four or five meters away the signal would degrade that much? And as you can see on the laptop, I was getting the same 160 megabits per second of download and 20 on upload. And on the tablet, I was getting the same 90 megabits per second on download and 20 on upload so the important to take out of these this scenario here is that the, the laptop was able to get the same speed on two different locations and having the power line on the same spot and then the tablet although it had a, a slower speed I was able to get the same speed on the two different locations so this is really interesting to see if you explain if you uh, ask me why the tablet is getting less over there than it was getting less over here I'm not sure I don't know uh, but is the way it works and uh, regarding the ground floor uh, in terms of conclusion if I can say because we can act this or simulate this as an apartment of one single floor uh, the results will depend on our power grid and on our devices but as you could see, even with the lowest uh, result, which was 90 megabits per second on download on the tablet, any, peop any person can uh, use the, the web for everything, to stream movies, stream whatever. Uh, this type of speeds is completely acceptable. And the advantage is, especially for those that cannot wire uh, through the house, um, just to plug in and that is it. So this is the ground floor. Hopefully I was able to explain myself. Well, at least I'm trying to do as best as I can. Now let's move on to the basement, which is, well, will be my favorite place of the house as soon as I've got everything finished. Um, <laughs> still in early, early steps. But uh, what I can say there, um, which will be my future office and will be hardlined, by the way. Uh, it, it will not be through Wi-Fi hardlined, but uh, I do have a weaker signal right over there. As you can see, I'm getting roughly 90 megabits per second on download and 20 on upload in terms of the um, the laptop and then on the tablet I'm getting roughly the same result, 94, uh, 20 megabits per second on uh, download. So. A, a decreasement of roughly 100 megabits per second uh, on download which is the same that I was getting roughly on the garage so as you can see uh, differences right over there and I also did another test on the basement which is I've got by the way just to uh, try to explain a little better uh, downstairs we've got 80 square meters on the 
uh, on the basement. Now uh, it's not the same uh, size of the house because we've got a big area closed so we have 80 square meters right over there and what I did was to uh, uh, place the, the power line in one hand and then uh, uh, move the uh, um, laptop and the tablet to the other end. I did measure it out, it was about 12 to 15 meters and the funny thing as you can see on the <laughs> test is that we got almost the same result, uh, 100 megabits per second on download and 20 on upload, this on the uh, MacBook Pro and then on the tablet we were getting roughly 90 uh, 9 or 89, I can't see my writing right now, <laughs> but roughly 90 on download and 20 on upload, which is uh, great speeds. Having in mind that we are far away from that, but also have in mind that I didn't, I, I have one wall right over there, but I do have a door space, so that uh, helps the signal to pass through. If I didn't have that door right there, I'm sure that it would decrease the, the signal as it does here on the ground floor. Now I did went uh, further ahead to do a one more test, really interesting test uh, below and what I did was to move to the other way at the end of my backyard um, and I did measure it out, it was about uh, 20 meters, 22 meters, something like that uh, and guys what I can tell is that on the MacBook uh, I was getting roughly 20, uh, sorry, 85 megabits per second on downloads and 20 on uploads. And on the tablet, I was getting roughly the 85, 86 megabits per second on download and 20 on upload. And here we are talking about 20 meters away from the power line. I was in the backyard, so I'm relieved that during the summer, I don't need to put any, any other device uh, outside the home. Everything that I've got here will be more than enough for, for us to get Wi-Fi signal outside, which is awesome. So, uh, as you can see on this uh, on this scenario, which <laughs> was a crazy scenario, uh, it was some some great results. And I wasn't honestly, I wasn't expecting so so many. Uh, well, this this speed in terms of results on the basement. Now, guys, uh, wrapping this up on the basement because we still need the first floor, which was the worst one. Um, the basement wall had great results for the maximum speed that I could get, which was roughly 90, 100 megabits per second. But I was able to get them once again, and we are talking about 150 square meters. The 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 backyard that I've got over there plus 80 square meters on the basement so just do the math it is a lot of space by the way I will try to put this on the Excel sheet so that you guys can then download from the description below and you can better have an idea of the distances and so on and so forth and the tests that I made so the ground floor is is, is explained the basement is explained let's go to the first floor which is unfortunately the place that I've got the worst results um, and hopefully the, the Volo Gigagate will give me some better results upstairs. But that's that's for uh, uh, for the future. Let me test <laughs> test it out first, and then all that. But this is just the expectation that I have. Now, in terms of results on the first floor, we have uh, first of all when we arrive upstairs, we have a hallway that will lead us to the bedrooms, to the office, to, well, to the small office that we've got there and to the toilets and so on and so forth. And I did test it out uh, just below a circuit breaker, as I said in the beginning, and what I had right over there was uh, one of the best results on the first floor, which is nothing special. We are talking about roughly 73 megabits per second on downloads and 7 megabits per second on upload, which is not that not that great and then I moved to our bedroom which has my uh, TV and it has our Android TV box and the ESP box and so on and so forth and I do have the power line adapter there uh, which is giving me at this moment 42 megabits per second on download and 12 megabits per second on upload which is bad uh, but it's what it is um, and I would need a little bit more there if I want to keep streaming uh, my high bitrate movies over there. Now on the last scenario which was the uh, office, our relaxing office if I can say so, it, we had 65 megabits per second on downloads and 20 on upload which is um, well acceptable for what my wife does but if I compare to the results that we have down here um, it's not that, not that good. 
Uh, guys, and that being said, we are with 18 or 17, 18 minutes uh, roughly, which is a long, long <laughs> video. But this was the best that I could do to share with you all the results that I've got here where we live right now in terms of power line adapters. And if you ask me a conclusion, I would say uh, for all of you out there, when you just have one ground floor, uh, probably the results will be great as I did had on the other apartments uh, the the results were really really nice when we have more than one floor things do get a bit tricky and honestly I don't know why I do get a signal so slow upstairs and um, below a little bit worse than here but acceptable and these things um, do matter if, for example, if my office goes downstairs, I would not be able to, uh, and I didn't want to, have the power line source here and getting only 100 megabits per second on my main office, that would be impossible. So what we'll, what we'll have to do in the future is to hardwire from here to uh, the basement, which is already almost ready, uh, to uh, have the complete maximum speed that I can get from my ESP to the office so that uh, when I upload or download anything, it will be as fast as possible. For the rest of the house, I do have more than acceptable speeds with the power line adapters and uh, I can live with all of them and uh, for the ground floor as I can said 150 square meters with uh, this room which is my office and then the living room the garage the kitchen and a small living area which is total 150 square meters I only use one power line adapter to cover all that area which is more than enough so this hopefully will give you an idea uh, of the type of usage that I do give to this adapters and so on and so forth guys i've wasted too much of your time hopefully this video will help you to decide if power line adapters are for you or not be expecting um well i don't know probably not this week but next week the devolu gigagate because i will start today and it will take probably a few days uh, testing all the same scenarios but with this one to see if we are getting any advantages or disadvantages in terms one to another. And that is it. Hopefully, once again, it was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.